it is Lord Haywire. I am streaming some more 2D 4X. I, I almost said 42X like I do occasionally. Uh, yesterday we got these random colors to work. If we hit pr print, if we hit play. We should wait. <laughs> We get these 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 colors, and we also fixed uh, the names there so that it, the till. I mean, it seems like that's all we did, but uh, we fixed a bug too. But we, you know, it it counts. Everything counts. Uh, oh, I also added another panel to this. It looks fine for now. Um, oh, there's the thing I was talking about. Our. <laughs> Our, our uh rainbow stuff just for fun i should probably take that out and put it on important things but anyways uh let me start my music that you guys can't hear i'm sorry i say that a hundred times every stream and i'm sorry also that you can't hear it uh what we're gonna do today is we're gonna set up hopefully a thing that generates uh population for each county and I had a, I have a script from that, which I don't have pulled up right now, because why would I be prepared, right? Uh, let's pull up another script that we know we're going to need. We're going to need globals, so that's going to open up. Then we're going to need this other thing, and we're going to convert over this script from Unity to Godot, as we do pretty regularly. We're moving everything over. This This part of this... So I'm breaking it apart. First off, I'm breaking it apart into smaller scripts so that it's not such a clusterfuck here. But what we need is create counties dictionary is actually what we... Now, we don't give a shit about that yet. I guess we should give a shit about this first. Uh, this is some information I don't understand with lists, I guess. Uh, this is a dictionary. Wind, how's it going? <laughs> you know, the cat's right behind. Oh my God, if you guys could see this thing. Um, I'm gonna take a picture. I don't wanna touch my camera because if I do, oh, it's all zoomed in. If I do, he knows I'm taking a picture of him. Um, and then I'll, I'll upload to my Gmail account here. Uh, <laughs> If I move my camera, I'll never get it back into, and then it will, you know, whatever. But it's right behind me. It's sleep, sleeping. How's your cat doing? Uh, <clears throat> big cat fan. I've had cats my whole life, pretty much. Photos? I don't know when this thing, oh, there, it's already uploaded. Look at this, dude. That's what he's doing right now. He's literally doing that right now. Look at him. All right, enough cat talk. No, I love cats. I, I'm a total cat person. I'm not a dog person. I'm not into dogs too much. Like, I'm not against them. I'm just not for them that much. Uh, so what are we doing here? We might have to do this first. We might need a list. We are. We're going to need a list or a dictionary of... The counties and then we'll go through that dictionary and we'll create the population so I guess we need to do this first uh, and we have some different I'll probably do like an enum for this I'm trying to think are we manually putting this shit in here I guess we are manually putting this shit in here maybe we'll do a resource again Oh my God, this music is such so much louder than the other music. Good God, stop, it's too loud. I gotta be prepared mentally. So I really, I would love to put a door outside for this cat, I would love it. Cause this isn't actually my cat, it's just some stray cat that I let in my house. I let any cat that wants to come into my house in my house. But the problem is, if I made one of those doors, my house would be filled with raccoons. Uh, they have no fear of humans. 
here and they like i have like one of the security gates on my doors and there's like paw prints from them hanging from the security g gate because they want in so bad to eat the cat food that's here um So I'm wondering how I should do this. This is all manually typed in. This is all manually picked. So I guess we could do another resource for each county. Let's do it. I'm worried I might be getting too resource happy. And this happened, I've mentioned this before. When I learn something new in any programming language or Godot or Unity or whatever, I get all excited about it and I make like, I use it a thousand times and then I find some issue that I shouldn't be using it. And <laughs> then I have to go back and fix everything. I go, oh shit, this is not gonna work. Uh, but I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this in my code of these, you know, like this shit hard coded in. Uh, so let's go back to something here. If we're gonna do that first, which it looks like we need to, uh, we're going to need to have a new I called this a raise, but we could lie and call this, we could use a raise. I actually need an enum. I'm gonna use an enum. I don't remember how to make an enum though. So let's look that up. Whoops. I can never remember anything. Well, so it doesn't, this cat doesn't have a collar because it's, that's a good idea, but it's, it's not my cat. It had a collar and I took it off. <laughs> C sharp enum. Uh, oh, I've been here before. That's it. Okay. I thought it was more complicated than that. Uh, so they put it. They usually they used to have it in a collar, just a normal collar, the real owners, and then they put in one of those harnesses. And one day it was like came to my house all like <laughs> caught in the harness, and I was like, I'm just taking this fucking thing off. Uh, if they cared about it, which they don't, um, they would they would not put it in a harness and then throw it outside. And when I say throw it outside, they're not really th throwing it. Let it outside. All right. I think what we can do. This is going to be called terrain. That's not how you spell terrain. And then I think what we're just gonna do, what was my list here? I think an enum will be better than a, just a, an array of them or whatever the fuck I was doing before. Uh, so we have a few. We, we're gonna start with the, I guess we could go alphabetical. This isn't ruins. Uh, if we're going to go alphabetical, then we're going to do that. And then mountain. Desert. Farm. That doesn't, that's not a terrain. <laughs> but we have it in here. Farm. I think that should be planes or something. I think that doesn't make any sense. L M N O P. I gotta do the thing. A pl plane. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, just filled with raccoons. In fact, the raccoons are kind of. I used to feed them and then I stopped because one of them attacked me. Uh, attacked my shoe. It was too, it, it, they're too aggressive. Uh, they broke the covenant. That's what I ta tell them. <laughs> Obviously, they don't speak English, but I, to where they come and stand there. I have like 50 of, pictures of them, too. Um, whoops. Uh, and they just, they just stand there and look at me. And one of them one day couldn't take it anymore, and he attacked my shoe. And I was like, no, you guys, because he was waiting for food, and I was going to give him food. Um, but he broke the covenant, so that's what I tell him, and then, then you know, they don't get food anymore because that's not allowed. Here, this one was 
from the fourth. Look at that dude. He's got the eyes going and shit. He's like, oh, look at poor me. Why won't you feed me? I'm so hungry. But no, he broke the covenant. Uh, all right, so we have this enum of terrain. Terrain. I feel like that's still spelled wrong. It is not. All right. Um, so I think what we could do. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> do I need a thing at the end of this? I guess not. Um, how are we going to do that? I'm thinking because I'm not that I'm still not that comfortable with resources. I think we're going to need a resource for these. Where did I put my my resources? So we'll do a new folder called counties. And then we're going to do a new. But before this, we're going to do a new CS script. And it's going to be called counties data. We're going to call it county data. And we're going to open this fucker up. And we're going to go to my old thing. And we're going to copy over what this thing is. Because it gets... Actually, the county one isn't that bad. But the the county population continues to grow. And it will be... Because it's it keeps track of every person in the game. Which is why this game... Uh, takes place um, after a, a pandemic so that there's no people. All right, we're going to copy this thing over. We need to change this to resource, I believe. And we need to add a thing. And all right, so all right, I so we this isn't gonna be we might need that eventually if we do this. I don't know if that's gonna work with the resource. Well, we'll find out. Sprite renderer. Uh, we're not going to use that this second, but we will probably need that. We're going to need this. This is telling it, so we're back to this issue where we have, like, lists that are inner, like, looping around to each other. Like, so this says this county is knows which factions it's part of, but maybe we should do it the faction knows which county it is because I what they own because I think they both... Like, the faction knows which county, and the county knows which faction, but then they come in this loop. So we'll do this. This should probably be an enum as well. All right, let's not put this in array, then. We'll put this in somewhere else. We'll put it in... Do I have just some public classes? All color, all, all colors, all text... Arrays, research items. I think we should do a new one. We'll call it, I don't know, all enums. <laughs> they have signals. Okay, so we probably don't need it in events then. How do we do, how do we signal with them? Well, I'll get to the, that. We'll, we'll burn that bridge when we get to it. Um, I guess I'll say all enums. Whoops, that was a folder. We don't need a folder. I've become a fan of enums because they're like numbers and words. <laughs> okay, now let's open this thing up and let's move this. Where did I stick that thing? Under arrays.
I don't know if they're the same. I don't know. Whoops. And then we're going to need this. I just made a mistake there, buddy. Uh, we're going to need this namespace here. In Unity, there was Unity events, and there was there was uh, um, C sharp events, and they were different, and they I don't know they were confusing. All right, so we we'll put we'll make province an enum. Uh, no, yes. But we're going to do it. Um, we're just going to have two right now. Do I need a comma? I guess it doesn't. This is, this is one of those things where it doesn't matter. It looks like it doesn't matter. And I really, I feel like it should always matter. Right, we have like 12 things that need saving here, so let's fucking do that. All right, so this should probably be... This was a capital P, though. Is that what we want? Oh, it doesn't like this. It's because... We probably need that. I'm a big fan of even when these are private to type that in there just because my brain works better. Okay, no. The name, oh, is it a, st oh, you're right. Public, you are right. Oh, now it doesn't like this though. I've done this before. Where did I do it? I did it. And let's check. I did it in my uh, globals. Okay, I didn't do it here. <laughs> I thought that's where I did it. Um, grid, it's grid, which is a public current class. Here we go, public class grid, public enum. Public, uh, there we go. Then this should be, I want to see if it, no, it still doesn't like me. Oh, you know why? Because this isn't, this should be this. And then we put, there we go. Uh, we'll just put province in here. There we go. Jesus Christ, it shouldn't be that hard, right? Uh, then this is also going to be the same, the same all enums, but terrain. And then we'll put three of these. See, I was using strings before, which is not, not that useful. I mean, it's fine, I guess. And then this county is going to have a list of county population, which we got to create. I will comment this out. <clears throat> I'm going to comment this out, and then we'll, we'll, if we end up using this, which I think we will, we'll add it in later. I'm trying to, like, reduce my number of, my, my amount of weird data that I'm storing. Uh, this we're going to comment out for now. This is what we're going to be creating, though. To hopefully today. Uh, then we got to put. No, not here. We don't. Yes, here we do. Global. What the fuck did I just go to line? Global. Ec, global. Uh, 
Global class is what we need here. Yeah, I don't know why it doesn't like this thing. When I tried to fix it, it just went. It's like you shouldn't shouldn't be visible or some shit. I don't. I don't know. I hate these things down here. I always want. I always want all of these messages gone. And I'm having good. Or in Unity, I was able to do it. In Godot, it's not. I'm not so successful. There's a few things it really doesn't like. So we got this, we got this, the county data now is this. So we have to generate uh, one of these for each county, which we currently only have three counties, so it's easy. And so we should be able to go to here and then go county. Oh, no, we can't do that yet. We're gonna go to build. We gotta go to build. When are you? I can't remember. Are you working on a game? And then we should be able to go to resource. There we go. And so this one will be called Cowlitz. And then I was trying to decide if I should name it like. Cowlitz data or something. And then this next one will be Portland. And then the next one will be Tillamook. Then we'll save that shit. We'll open this. We can close this. Then on here, I think we need to build here. <clears throat> Why can't I see this? Uh, did I not build it? I think I clicked build. Um, For how to create Minesweeper, that's a that's a quite a. Do you do tutorials? That's a, there's a lot of people, or not a lot. Uh, Joker also does tutorials. Uh, oh, you know what I forgot? I was like, why is nothing showing up? Because <laughs> I forgot export on all of these. Is my faction data okay? It is a partial class. Um, so I actually I am I'm less so it depends what I'm doing obviously, but I actually like when there's written ones so I can look at their code easier, you know, and copy it. <laughs> So I use videos and I use the written ones, but like if I'm streaming, there's I don't want to look at a video. I want to look at a. Uh, uh, um, sorry, the song threw me off. I was like, "What is this?" Uh, Amanda Palmer uh, song that I've never heard before. I don't think. Uh, so I like to, and so when I'm working too for my IT stuff, you know, you're always looking up shit, and I never want to see videos in that case. Uh, I use Joker's videos actually pretty regularly because they're similar to what I'm working on. Uh, but yeah, written ones are, the, are awesome. And I feel like Godot doesn't have enough. Uh, so you wrote your own Minesweeper and now you're turning it into a tutorial? You know, and it's like a... All right, let's see if this... We got to build this again. Okay, so Calitz is a capital. Its province is Washington. Here's our three different, yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. Uh, it's gonna be, we'll do coast, I guess. Its second biome will be ruins. 
its third biome will be forest. I mean, this this stuff is pretty. Did I have a river? Did I put river in there? I did. We could do river, ruins, and coast. That's gonna be weird. But right now it doesn't it doesn't matter. Portland is a capital. Oh, you know, is independent capital is actually so. There's there's we're doing this kind of a a different way here. Um. You can try and export the account into the provinces and create new objects there. Then you don't have to say have those files saved. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, so we're gonna so there's capitals. The players are gonna be able to pick a capital of a state or a province. It's not necessarily going to be the real life capital. Uh, it's going to be ruins, but then there's independent capital is is something else, which I'm now thinking these are dumb names. So in the provinces in Crete. Uh, ruins, forest, and I was going to put fo uh, farming in here for this one. And then Tillamook is... Uh, independent i'm gonna rename these i don't like this i suddenly can't remember what that shit means and that's a problem coast forest i don't know what i had this set as before originally there's probably mountains we'll do some mountains so we're gonna have every county and it's gonna be more and more convoluted more and more data and I and it's gonna be so that's part of the issue is I don't like this in the code wherever it was that big you know um, all of this manually typed in here shit I don't want to do but it's got it's all they're all different well they're supposed to be all different and they're all supposed to be oh we never put faction in here well we're gonna try to do it without that we'll do it from the faction level how will it know when we run the game, which one owns which? Okay, so we should probably do a faction. Wonder how we should, we're gonna link this stuff together. <laughs> I was talking about pathfinding uh, and how hard it was for me to figure out how to do it. And a lot of it was they were doing crazy math. And one, the one, so I used the code monkey one and it worked great. And then I changed my hexes because it's hexed. It's for my other game. Uh, and it was the grid and the pathfinding together. You know, you got to make the hex grid and then you got to make the pathfinding work with the hex grid. And I changed, so I was using just some like dumb hex that I found online. And so then I found a better one online and I switched it and the, suddenly the pathfinding, everything was fucking broken. And I couldn't figure out what the problem was. And I was reading through the comments on the code monkey video and someone said, why did you do the math this way? It's wrong. And he's like, oh, it would just be easier for the tutorial so people could have it work with the tutorial and not have to use the crazy math. But the thing is, is that if you change the hex size, so his hexes were wrong. They weren't the standard hex. They were a weird hex size to work with the weird math he did. And the guy in the comments said, no, your math should have been this. And it just because it uses some weird math. I, and so when I switched to that, all my hex issues went away. And it, it surprised me that to make the tutorial seem easier, <laughs> he, we used bad math. It was there's a word for this math. I can't remember what it's called. We actually might I might actually just by coincidence have it open because um, it is in this grid. So this is like oh no, this is a different thing. Uh, there's like some word. There's some math word. Uh, down here somewhere
I can't remember what it what it was or where it is. This is the pathfinding part. I don't think it's actually in here. It's in the grid creation part. It doesn't really matter, but there's there's one word that he didn't want to use in the math. It oh, we're almost to it. It's like, you know, slurp or something. Oh, what the fuck is this? Oh no, that's right. <laughs> I don't know where it is. Yeah, and so I wasn't reading the comments. I would have never found that. I was so frustrated because it worked perfectly. I can't find it. It's been a, it's been a long time since I've looked at this. I mean, I guess like a month. Now I'm like, I really want to find it. I'm trying to think. What, so it's when it's... It's this. Mathf.squirt. <laughs> he didn't want to use squirt. And so he did it some different way to make it kind of push, push him and, and kind of, it still worked, but the hexes had to be a different, the wrong hex shape. So hexes are supposed to be, you know, every side is the same length, but he made his diff slightly smushed so that they would fit in the thing. And this is the crazy part. I didn't use his hexes originally. I just randomly picked some other free hex online and, but happened to be that same squish. So it all worked until I picked a real hex that was not ha that was not squished like that. So I guess it wasn't wrong. It was just it made it when I picked a real hex, everything fucking imploded, pathfinding everything. Uh, so yeah, it's weird when you when you watch a tutorial and you're like, ah, there's something fishy going on here. All right, so. We have these. Oh, I was going to fix this independent thing. I don't think we're going to rename this to something because now I can't remember what this means. Exactly what it means. So there's going to be three different. That's not what I wanted. Three different like types. <clears throat> Is player. Uh, we should read. No. Is player capital. is independent capital and this no let's not independent let's go like this let's call this is ai capital because they're they're different we, we got to do different stuff to them if it's the player capital we like leave a bunch of stuff open i mean not that it applies right now and then if it's just the other thing we don't we don't that's what we want uh let's build this thing again Hexes were, were really, were much more difficult than I thought. I, and I read, you know, everyone's like, read this guy's website. It explains everything. And I read it like multiple times. I was like, yes, I understand what this guy is saying, but <laughs> trying to implement this was, was fucking insane. All right. This is a player gamble because that's where, and this is going to be, uh, come, come here. This is going to be an uh, AI capital. And this is going to be neither. So now we have our three tests. Now we've got to somehow assign, how are you going to do this? So we, when we generate the, like, when we generate the factions, we have these factions here. We need to somehow automatically assign, we need a list on the faction of what counties they own. I think that's the, we should start with the faction should know what county it has, right? Or should the county know what faction it's in? I was doing it, the county knew what faction it was in before, and not the other way around. 
I guess I guess we need I yeah, I do the pointy top, yeah. <laughs> no, it's totally different. Uh with the flat the flat top is yeah, it's totally different math and it's like it's there's that one site that explains the difference in which the neighbors were and you know what's crazy too with the hex thing is I would I was using chat GPT a lot to help me with that and it kept changing where it thought the neighbors were so it would it would like I'd paste code and it would put different code and it would and, and then it would also adjust the neighbors so when I copied it over again the neighbors would be uh, um, different and it would fuck up the pathfinding again and it took me a long time to figure out that the chat GPT kept switching kept changing because they're just like they're they're hard to notice numbers uh, I don't think it's under my grid script, but it's it's somewhere. No, it is under here. So it would change these. Chat GPT would. Um, they wouldn't say, you know, I, I wasn't asking for this to be changed. I was be like, how do we adjust the math on this part? And it would, this would be elsewhere in the script. And it would, just, you know, swap like these numbers. <laughs> and, and so I'd be like, now it did the pat. Now the neighbors are all fucked up. Like, what did I do now? And then I figured out, when I figured out I was kept changing these, I moved them out of the script so that it couldn't fuck with them anymore. It, it, was, it is the red block games thing, yeah. Um, so I think the way we got to do this is we got to not, I'm going to try to not think about the way I did it before because I think that was wrong. And we're going to do it not wrong it was just a weird way to do it so first we're generating the factions then we're going to generate the counties but we need to know the counties need to know what factions they're in so that's got to be in our county data it has to be and we have this here or How are we doing this thing? Are we just randomly going down the list? Yeah, we're just going down. We're just counting. We're just saying. <laughs> The first one goes to this faction, the second one goes then. And has that's not how it works. I'm trying to think how we could do this. We need to go, hmm. The county has to know what faction it's in. I don't think there's any way we cannot do that. I don't think, I think the county has to know what, I don't think that there's any other, I wonder, can I just drag and drop this shit in here? Let's see, that would solve one, or can I just pick? I guess I could load. Uh, where am I at here? I'm in Portland. Is there a way to automate this process? I know right now it seems like three isn't a big deal, but when we have 500 of these, I don't want to go through and link them to 500 factions because there's going to be every county, everyone's going to start out with one county at the beginning. And right now I want the player faction to own Portland because that's where I live. That's the only that's the only logic behind the player faction being there. We told this Joker has it gone. <laughs> it's that's that's how it's gonna be well except there'll only be certain ones that they can start with i, I was thinking about letting them you know in the the in the, the i was the the days of 
like independent nations and strategy games is kind of over. I think Paradox killed that. Where you can pick any, you can in in Paradox games, you can pick any nation, even if they're, you shouldn't. Um, <clears throat> I don't think that right now there's a way to automate this process. I'm trying to think, we, we can go through, and we can say, is this a player capital? If it's the player capital, uh, we could do that. We can say, Let's not worry about it. Let's not get bogged down. I'm going to get bogged down in thinking about shit that doesn't matter. So let's do it this way. Let's just drag this over. This is going to be AI Faction 1. And this is going to be AI Faction 2. Except I'm clicking on the wrong thing. This is going to be... I was on Tillamook. I was on Tillamook earlier. I really gotta gotta do the the double clicking. It's very touchy. Okay, everything looks beautiful, right? So now we know the counties. So then what we'll do, well, so this is a, this is a problem. <laughs> Fuck. No, it is not a problem. We're back to this. We're back to the, we're back to the good part. We're going to need this list though. We're going to need, so county, the county population is not going to be a resource. I'm looking up in the air thinking here while I do this because it doesn't, there's only one of them. Like there isn't, they're all, they're, um, oh shit, did I finish my backup? I did, okay. I have like some cloud backup on my computer that I run whenever it tells me to. I don't have it automatic because it would run in the background at crazy times and I would be, what the fuck is wrong with my computer? And it wouldn't be the computer's fault. It would be the cloud backup was grinding things. So let me pull out another, the public class for county population. This is going to be the big one. Every... <laughs> every, every county is going to have... Or every... Well, we don't need... Uh, we do need that. Every person... We're going to be keeping track of every person in the game... That's like one of my dreams here. We don't need this. I'm in the, we need this over here. Especially in like cyberpunk world, you know, they're, uh, oh, we're going to need to change this random faction color thing, actually. Let's put that on our list. Sorry. <laughs> it was mid sentence. And then I was like, uh, we were looking at uh, Joker. We I was I was showing some cat pictures earlier in a raccoon picture. You you missed the fun of uh, us talking about cats. Uh, what am I doing? I want this. We're gonna have to have fix how the colors of each county are distributed. We, uh, they should be assigned according to their faction. Right now they're just, they just go down the list. And then we don't, that worked for like the temporary setup, but we need this. And then we're going to need our county population is a public class here. New script county population. And I think I still have that thing on my clipboard. Don't need that. Uh, we might need serializable. We don't need this. We 
We don't need that. We don't need this. We do need... Um, namespace. Player space. The things with the the raccoon that attack my foot, I don't think it was the same raccoon. Like there they there's different ones that just come come around. They just And there was a mother one that that once was very aggressive. Alright, we don't need this right now. We don't need this right now. This so here's now we're back to another thing, like the county population each person knows which factions it's in i don't think that seems like a lot i don't know what i just did um my phone is just pictures of cats and um raccoons okay we're gonna need that the fuck is this called export group oh except I don't know if we're gonna be able to see this now we're back to the the list the list um, dictionary concept here like which one we're gonna use Oh, it doesn't like this one because there's nothing in here. They're going to have attributes, too. They're going to have, like, uh, strength and shit like that. This we can get rid of just temporarily. This we can... Well... Whoops. I hit copy. Not... Then I, then I hit Control-Z. <clears throat> This is going to kind of suck. <clears throat> the reason this is going to kind of suck is we're going to have to constantly be modifying this part, which is just a pain in my ass as we add these back in. But I think that's probably the best way to do it. What's the first thing we got here? The first thing we got is first name. And then the next thing we copy or we got rid of was current building. Well, I don't know if we're going to do it that way is the issue. I don't know if we're going to do it. I assume we're going to do it something similar, but I don't know. I can't, it's one of those things where I can't decide on stuff. Uh, I also should change those, probably the the activities from strings to enums like I was doing. I The problem with all these strings like I was using before is it's too error prone and it's too weird. Do we want to see, well, we'll see, I don't even know if we'll be able to see this at all. So, you know what, we'll put... We'll put an export on this just so we can see if we ever need. I don't know how we're going to look at this stuff, basically. Uh, we probably want to be able to see inside that list. So I think we are going to have to do the dictionary list thing or whatever. Godot dictionary. I'm going to look one more time for export list. I've looked at this, obviously, many Yeah, I think that's the only option, which is, it's not bad, as long as, how do we need to index these people? Like, we need to, it has to be by, like, a number. Um, Spirit Baker, how's it going? Older Paradox games have one image file where all provinces are painted. 
Oh, sh are you kidding? Like one big. So there was a couple day, a couple of different ways I looked at doing this. So they, how was the one? That's that actually. That's how one of the ways I looked at it back in the day when I first started this was. Uh, I found a tutorial that had. Uh, this is the size of the map. <laughs> there and there was a. So then they had. Um, no, they were all cut out like a puzzle. They were all cut out like a puzzle. How did they differentiate? They just had a different, uh, different like area that was invisible until they colored, put the color in it. I'm guessing. I mean, that, that was the idea I had for this, but it, like, I don't, I wouldn't know how to, you'd have to like draw all that shit somehow. I so I started playing Paradox games with EU two I think, and then Hearts of Iron two. My favorite I think is Crusader Kings. Um, that seems like so like I've I've also so there, I've talked to like a ton of CK three modders, and I'm I you know, I'm curious how it looks was for the modder. Like, are they just typing in numbers to get, you know, to change the shape of a province and stuff? Are they uploading files? I I guess I should have asked them that. <laughs> what the fuck does this look like? I could probably do a tutorial on it and see. I'm just out of curiosity. Uh, this all looks fine. So then what we're going to do, I hope... But were they cut out and like put together like a puzzle or where is it one one image? Man, that would be crazy. You know, with EU2, I remember there was this huge, huge thing where everybody wanted uh, the new world to be randomly generated, myself included. Um, and they finally did that in EU4, I think. And I never wanted to play it with the new world being randomly generated. It's weird how that, that, that changes once you get to it. Once you get what you want. Um, monkage. I've, I've, wait, was it monkage? Monica, monikage. It was monkage. I, was that what it was? Oh yeah, what mod do you work on with EU4? There's the the mod that I'm incredibly impressed with is that uh, Anabar. That mod is fucking inc crazy incredible for EU4. It made me reinstall EU4 and play as some goblins and some tunnels for many hours and die a lot. I had to restart a lot. I tried the dwarves too, but I wasn't into the dwarves. Oh, you worked on that one? Yeah, that that, that fucking thing is. Amazing. Uh, yeah, ma 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 junk. <laughs> the ma junk. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. That that mod is great. All the I didn't have all the DLC though. I stopped buying the D. I couldn't do it. I just bought the Crusader Kings three DLC though, and it was expensive. It did did add some more life to CK three though. I was very bored with CK three. So how are we gonna do this here? This this thing is wrong, <coughs> but I'm not. I don't want to fix it right now. So it's gonna go through the factions. Which don't apply, then it's so let's add in a new uh, node. Not there. Not there either. Then it's gonna go through. I think I'm gonna rename this to. And then. We have this script I co copied over. We needed that for that part, but where is the script that I... <coughs> uh, 
<laughs> I guess I didn't do that part. We're gonna need a new script then. That makes EU4 harder. Uh, the problem I have with EU4 is the combat, and they may have fixed it at this point. But I get tired of like my four thousand forty thousand guys losing to their two thousand guys, and it's just like, what the fuck is going on? Uh, I was playing Japan, and I just was. It was constantly, you know, they have the weird combat with thing. I, I guess they were. <laughs> um, I thought I already... Okay, I did not... I definitely did not do this yet. All right. So let's add in a script called... What did we call that one? County generation. County population generation. What did we call this script? Factions. What a terrible fucking name. Let's rename this while we're here breaking stuff. Then let's go over to here. Faction generation. Let's open up this thing. Let's get rid of this thing. I feel like I already did this yesterday. Province ownership is stored in interesting. So I feel I kind of feel like that's what I have to do. So this game isn't inspired, you know, it's inspired by the Paradox game. I keep jo or Paradox games. I keep joking I'm going to make a better one, but <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh CK3 mostly, actually Victoria 3 if it wasn't such a piece of shit as well. So I wanted, so I didn't, I had never played Victoria until recently. And I re, I've, I was saying when I first started this game that I wanted resources to be important for why you go to war. And Victoria 3 has that. Uh, but then also like Dominions 5 or 4 or 3, any of the Dominions games. Let's put a namespace in here since it wants me to. And then... Let's copy over this part of the code. It's just a chunk of code. That, so that's what I was doing as I was looking at this code. And then we're going to copy over this method here. Wherever the fuck it is. Where'd you go? Um, we're going to copy over this thing. We don't need to rewrite all this crap. Oh, wait, we got two parts. What is this shit? Okay, that's not that we don't need that shit. All right, so before I had a script that just count it just went down the list of of counties and create and created like a list because I I didn't think about doing like get children, get child or whatever. No, get children. And so we don't actually need this list anymore, and I would like to not I would like to have less lists if possible. Create various spe uh, county specific data uh, then we had a dictionary that was by county name so now let's go back and fix we did this yesterday but let's get rid of Oregon on here as well uh, we don't need Oregon at the end of this we just want and that I guess that means that we'll have to make every county um, name make sure it's specific to it doesn't there's no duplicates and then we'll have to have some sort of thing if we allow renaming which I wanted you know I have like this ridiculous number of features like yeah let's throw anything in here 
Um, I want to add magic. I'm not even joking. There's going to be magic in this game. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. Uh, so what we'll do when we allow people to rename this stuff, um, we'll have to put some sort of check to make sure that it's not a duplicate. <clears throat> Yeah, I feel I feel like that happens. It's funny. I watched a splatter cat video this morning, and he he was he was jokingly talking about like the steps of companies, you know, of, of gaming companies. Like the first game's pretty good, uh, but they don't have that much experience. The second game's really good because they learn from making the first game, and then it starts to go downhill after that, where they're like they become a little bit money grubbing, and then they're just money grubbing shit bags. And I, I feel like Paradox has finally got to the money grubbing shitbag phase where like they just keep releasing this like five dollar DLC that's crap. <laughs> Victoria Three is like an example of just it just like these broken systems that they just Yeah, here it is, whatever, you guys will pay for it. So you know, all of their DLC is like mostly disliked. <laughs> and I went out and bought the C like I said, the CK three DLC, I bought it like yesterday. I was like, oh, all right, it was like a week ago. So what we're going to do instead, we're going to modify this. And what we're going to do, though, is we're going to just go down the list. We're going to go down and we're going to use a Godot dictionary, which I've never done before. So we're going to want to go down. We're going to need a thing here. First off, we're going to need an export. This is going to be kind of hardcore for my skill level. What is this thing? It's a node. It's a node 2D for some reason. Uh, county's parent. Province owner. I think that's the way I gotta do it. I think, I can't think of a way to not, like you click on it. Otherwise you'd have to like go through every list to see what list it was in. Oh, that's it. That's I didn't know you could sort it that way. Uh, all right, so now it's going to go th through every we don't need this anymore then. Yeah, because I was having yeah, we don't need that. I was having go. I had a. I put a script on like the parent before, and I had it go through because I didn't know how to do that, or I was dumb, or something. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this. I never do null checks. I just, I just like to wing it and have shitty code. All right, let's look. Check out this Godot dictionary. Why? What? Let's look up. What's the better? What, why do we want a Godot dictionary versus C Sharp dictionary? Because we can see inside the the Godot dictionary. That right? That's the the thing. This guy switched over before all the Unity shit went down. He was ahead of his time. Uh, my understanding is, is a dictionary type would be a dictionary and it would likely be individual keys. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I don't think so. Godot dictionary is a dynamic like GD script. I don't think there's any way to type constrain it. Do I need to type constrain it? Well, let's pr let's try to make one since I don't. Well, let's also comment all that it's broken code out because we're going to have some problems with if we try to, we need to be able to build the shit, right? We'll go all the way down here. I think that was, no, that was too, that was too far. No. 
this whole thing is a clusterfuck. This thing is ugly. Oh my god, what have I done now? Undo. Let's do this. This will be easier. Let's do this. We're going to do... We're going to comment out this whole... See, the problem is I have something weird here. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? Uh... <clears throat> And we'll just get rid of this one temporarily. No, you want another one. Fine, there you go. Then we're going to figure out how this dictionary works. Because I want to be able to see inside the dictionary. It's not 100% necessary, but it's... It's for for later when we're doing testing and stuff. It will be so much easier if we can see inside of it. So let's let's look up. Let's look up how this thing works. All right, so it says Why the fuck is this here? <clears throat> Uh, I don't know what that even means, so. All right, so it's basically the same as a C sharp one. It, I mean, it looks basically the same as a C sharp one. I don't know. Obviously, it's going to operate in the background differently. Uh, let me put this on the other screen, though. And <clears throat> we're actually going to call it the same thing. I'm wondering why I initialized it down here, though. We're not going to do that. <laughs> Um, county name and where wait that's not how I, wait what how do I do this I don't want var oh is that you mean var you're talking about the var thing is that what var is is variant <laughs> I know, I know, I need to take, I need to take some basic um, C-sharp classes. I just, uh, I don't want this to go away. Uh, I did, a, I did a few of them. They were just too boring. I got bored. I got to level four. That was the, the level that Microsoft gave me. They said I was a level four C developer. I don't know what the le top level is, though, so it's meaningless. Like, if it's a 10,000... It means I'm terrible. If it's 10, it means, you know, I'm, I'm fucking amazing. So to initialize this, so they didn't, they only did that over here. They didn't do it down. No, wait. No, yeah, they did only did it here. <clears throat> So this is more like the style that I'm like C sharp I'm used to. So if we do this and then we just mimic this, we're going to say this is private. No, this has to be public. In fact, 
What are we doing down here? Why did I put it down here? Oh, because this was in world map load. All right, so that makes more sense. All right, we're actually gonna do this. We're not gonna do this here. Give me all of this shit. This is gonna be something that's accessed by everything all the time. So we're gonna need it in this globals thing. So this is gonna be a Godot. Oh, except we can just add dictionary. Get the fuck out of here. We can just add the collections thing to the top. There we go. We don't need this. And then we're gonna call this county dictionary. And then we're just gonna new this fucker, right? Can I do it that way? It seems like it's okay with it. Except does it know that it's not a, a C sharp one? Okay, it does. All right, because they're similar. All right, we're gonna. So this is gonna be the new county popula population dictionary. Then when we are generating this stuff in here, we're gonna do it real. Oh fuck! I remember how I did this. <clears throat> so it was a dictionary list. <laughs> which makes it more complicated. Let's go back, I just closed this. Uh, it's a dictionary list, not just a straight dictionary. It's a list. Let's go back to my my thing here. Um, I think they're all down here. Here it is right here. Yeah, so now it's confused because I put this thing in here. Can we do this though? You sent me that screenshot yesterday Well, I mean, this would be working if we weren't, this is exactly what we need. Because it's gonna get, you're gonna, we're gonna use the name of the county to get the list of people that lives in there. <clears throat> it's not necessarily saying it's bad. It just says it wants this Godot collections thing here. And now it says it's bad. Let me look at, you actually, Joker, you actually sent me a screenshot that I think had something similar to this yesterday. I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. Because remember I was asking about, oh, can you use an int? It was this. Oh, I can't get it out of here. Let me... Let me... Uh... Yeah, it's that thing. Let's look at this. Oh, this isn't. <laughs> that isn't. <laughs> uh, let's figure this out. There's got to be a way to do this. Maybe I don't need... Let's figure this out. There's got to be a way to do this. Otherwise, I have to use a C-sharp one, and I, we can't look inside those. I mean, it's not the end of the world not to be able to look inside it, but it sure would be nice. 
super um Uh, is there a good reason why counties don't have a list of their populations? They were, they're going to, that's, um, so it's, that's what we're doing is the county, each county is going to have this list that that's this thing, but I need it in a dictionary so we can find it later. Um, or are you talking about just having a straight list? Let's think about this. Maybe that might be a better way. Uh, just a straight list attached to the, we could, uh, to the, um, wait, I think you're on to something here. Once again, <laughs> the data in the Unity version of this that I'm moving over is very convoluted. And there was someone in chat once who I'm I'm trying to think the way he said it. Uh, maybe I'm trying to think the way he said it, but I said some comments like I don't know if this is a good idea, and he didn't say it this way at all. But he impl he said it very nicely, but he implied it like this is the stupidest fucking idea you've ever had in your life, and I did it anyways. And so I'm trying to avoid that. He said it really nicely, and I just ignored him. But I knew that. I knew it was a bad idea, and I I don't want to go back to the bad ideas. I want to do it a better way. I think you're right, actually, when just have the county. Yeah, there's no reason not to do that. How would we go down this? I'm in deep thought now still. What is this script? This is just select county. What is this? <laughs> I've confused myself. Uh, what is this? This is our county info, the county data, which is where I was thinking we could put the list in here. How do we access this county data from outside of the county? <clears throat> we can't. I had a similar uh, thing with that. So what are we using? I'm like, I'm all right. So we're every county is going to need another node. So the, this in unity, I had a node that, you know, I have that, that like token info on all my other token, like anything that is like a token. I had another thing like this called county info attached to these. If we have a county info attached and then we have the resource attached to it, to the county info, we could access that county info script every time we needed to get either the this resource. I'm trying to think. We will need that event. Like a lot of this stuff is we don't need this shit right now. Uh, it, it's a list specifically for population. So every person is going to be accounted for. Um, and we could either put the list the population list in either the county resource <laughs> and all the raccoons come in. You did, but it's good because I'd rather have the... So I'm trying to think, like, how are we accessing last time? Or why do I need it to be in a dictionary that's, like, floating around? I don't think I do if... So, okay, so one of the things you do in the game. All right, let's, we're going to have to open Unity. I'm sorry, I apologize. Oh, man, I question my life decisions all the time. I'm not like, I'm not one of those people who's like, 
I wish I could go back, but I do like, um, I do think a lot about like, man, that was a dumb decision. Oh, I accidentally double clicked because now I'm, I'm used to, oh yeah, it might get all, all weird while this happens. might get all jacked up yeah i lost a bunch of frames and stuff <laughs> it's it's th this is the thing i was talking about where i i'm so glad godot doesn't do it all right let's hit play on this guy and let's maximize this so if you can't click on it if you click, man, that's slow. If you click on a county and you click on population, it brings up the population. This is pulling this from that dictionary, that dictionary list. Dictionary of lists. That's where this information, I just have to visualize this to see. But, if we have that on select county, select county could easily open up something that's on the child of the thing that we just clicked on. Oh, this opens up that? I for <laughs> forgot. Um, you know, that's, that, that's not what's happening here. <laughs> that's a different thing. <laughs> There's a, there's a different issue that's going on with this this upper thing, but we don't have to worry about fixing that ever. Uh, it's it's this thing is the problem. It's not this. These are all centered, but this thing gets fucked up. And I remember I was like, oh, I'll go back and fix it. But since we're never using it, we're not doing anything. Okay, so I think... It doesn't matter. It, we don't need to have it. We don't need. I'm gonna not. I'm gonna stop this. I'm gonna leave this open just to, to like, cause I have to visual. <clears throat> yeah, the load times, man. It's it's pretty brutal. And my computer isn't that great, but uh, we can close this thing. All right. So you're right. When all that thought, it's it, we don't actually need this in the global thing, and we don't. How would we act? So let's. It's back to this. This is my question now is how do we we i kind of want to put it in here in the resource forum so we would have to have which isn't this is not we would just we're gonna have to have a node on here uh not there and we would just stick a script on here or we could do it in select county well, let's why don't we just put it under select county just to be really lazy because we're going to be accessing it. So we could either have, I'm not talking, uh, where's select county? If we do, man, this is quite a, a nothing script. I'm, I'm glad. Yeah, why is there a comma there? Stupid comma. Where did you come from? Uh, okay. If we do a private... Uh, it's actually needing to be public. Uh, county data. Called county data. What's your problem? Uh, the problem is, is I have it in the wrong spot. <laughs> uh, was this, No, this one isn't rainbow text. This is the... Uh, So now I think now oh, we got some other I didn't save it. <clears throat> so I rather do this better than the way I did it before. I'm hoping I didn't need to play it. I'm hoping that I'm going to do it better than the way... I, oh, we got a bunch of bugs here. I shouldn't really be getting bugs right now. Uh, 
Uh, I think this busted because I renamed something. Oh, it is. It's be. It is. It's the same thing that happened yesterday, actually. Uh, no, go back to this. And, whoops, now I'm clicking Unity. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I actually was, I, I'm actually looking forward to the day that I can um, get rid of Unity off my computer for good. And I'm not like vengeful about it. Uh, if you guys have ever, have never used this Winder stat, I highly recommend it. It looks through and it makes like pictures of your how much your disk space is used. Uh, there's a bunch of like old broken versions of Unity stored on my computer and I can go through and delete them, but I'm worried because when I do like an update, when I used to do like an update of Unity, sometimes those things would get modified and I'd be like, what's, what's going on? So when I can finally get rid of it, I'll be stoked on, on the fact that it's, it's an holy shit, I went a ha half hour over my break time. I suddenly got cold. Uh, there's something wrong with my heater. Um, I thought they fixed it, but they, they didn't. Uh, I am going to go take a quick break, and then we're, I'm going to be, when I get back, we're going to make this work. This is my goal today, is to get some randomly generated population going. Uh, let me put up my break timer, and I'll be back in less than five minutes.
that was a close call uh almost almost late back from my break uh, i went and checked my heater it's busted again it's amazing uh it was great <laughs> all right back to here so what we're gonna do did i finish typing that in yes and what is this other let's hit play let's hit build and see what errors we get here uh let me turn on my music <laughs> maybe maybe it's just the song is silent in this part uh did we get the same air scripts faction generation maybe i typoed it maybe i didn't save it no i did faction generation i don't think i hit build or something Faction generation. That's spelled the same. It's mad at me because I have Unity open. <clears throat> Oh, did it? Uh, I can't put stuff there. Let's clear this. And we'll put it back in. I don't feel like it's it's uh, building. I know it says it is. Where is this one? What did I do? I renamed something and everything broke. Wouldn't be the first time. I love renaming stuff as I go along. Um, and that is obviously not the best idea. Faction data. <laughs> it's, it almost feels like it, but I can't put stuff in here unless this thing will build. Um, it usually gives you an error though like a it can't build thing county data is empty i wonder how that happened i didn't rename that oh that was the thing we just created so that's a we're on portland right but that shouldn't matter The class can't be found. Faction generation. What else did I do to this thing? All I did was was I usually put a space between those. <clears throat> I'm going to close this and reopen it. It I think I think it is mad at me. For something It was just mad at me for no apparent reason. 
Uh, all right, so all I wanted to do was get these things to build, but they're not, they're building now. Uh, so if we have that, and then if we go into this original county data thing, and then we add a, oh, there is, see, there is a list in here. So that would be one of the things. So I had a dictionary with the list and I had it attached to the counties. I had duplicate stuff and it wasn't necessary. Uh, except we're not, what's your problem with this list? Uh, we need to add a thing, but I think, don't we want this to, we're gonna try out it because we can't see inside lists. Uh, so we're gonna try out a Godot thing, a Godot collection thing. What did that look like? We had it over somewhere. I probably deleted it already. I did. And <clears throat> do I still have this open? I have an empty thing open. That was county data. So we would we would say I go back to this where Where do I de like say what it is though? I don't have to. Like it's so it's going to be a list of these public classes. Whoops, not this. It's going to be a list of county population public class. Uh, this is going to be public, definitely. And then, but it, so it doesn't need to know that this is like a list of public classes. Um, oh, it wants me to simplify this. We can do that. <clears throat> so then let's go back over to this thing and fuck with this since I don't know how this works. Uh, actually, let's not do it there yet. We'll do it in county data. Can I do it in county data? Let's see. A private test something. Uh, it's post upon. <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, yeah, I want I want uh, three million people in each one. No, it's a post apocalypse uh, uh, game where it's after a pandemic. Actually, I didn't base it off of the pandemic we just had. I based it off of uh, um, the original idea was there's this movie called or this TV show called Survivors uh, from the 70s. It's a BBC show. They made a remake of it. It was awful uh, where everyone's dead and there's only like 10 people, you know, around. So that's the idea is that we're only we're only going to have like, um, you know, starting out like 10, 20 people in each county. Because with with that many, you know, we can't keep track of every person. <laughs> uh, yeah, t 10 is better than even 10,000. I don't think we could do. But the population will grow. And that's a, a worry that I have. I might have to give up on the whole idea and have like another population that is just people without names. They're, 
meaningless numbers but i kind of want i want to do a game where you can look at every person in your county and be like wow what is this person doing you know and whatever um that's the that's the goal um yeah it's post-apocalyptic so the idea is there's a the pandemic and then also like multiple wars and things of people trying to grab up the last of the resources um yeah, like, how does it know? Yeah, exactly. I want, I want like, real names. I have a name list that we're going to be using here, too. Uh, how does it know what any of, like, with that, that we ha we're using this big public uh, class for, like, names and stuff? When you assign it, it does that or something? How do you assign something to this thing? There could be, I think part of the problem is gonna be, you're gonna need population for stuff to, to be able to manufacture things. So people are gonna want more people. But yes, you could definitely, there's gonna be wars. You're gonna be losing the people, you know, that are, very important and that's so one that's gonna be like one of the mechanics is you're never gonna have enough people uh I'm still not sure how this works with <clears throat> Oh, am I going to Okay, wait. Maybe it's my brain might be figuring this out. It takes takes a minute. All right. So if I have that county population, then I go like And let me see that. Let me put this over here again. Um You know, it's like a complaint about a lot of game, a lot of strategy games is the late game stuff. The the game can't handle it. I'm looking, I'm going down this thing, and none of these have, they have the dictionary like that. What I want to do, it, like, can I just do zero? fuck does this work i need a better example than these this is a these tutorials suck <laughs> these talk i know every, everyone's always like no the the unity uh or the <laughs> godot um documentation's good and i i disagree okay wait but how do i assign it ahead of i like it I, we don't know what it's gonna be we're gonna be adding shit to it so all right we need to add it first which is we can do, can we do dot add? Or I guess we can just try it, not in this one though. Uh, dot add, like a normal list. Okay, we can't, okay, all right, here we go. All right, here we go. Um, but how does it know what this thing is? Because we're gonna have to have population then there's going to be like a thing in here this is out of control add variant key variant value it needs this new thing here though right zero new county 
<coughs> zero new. I have too many of these. I need one more of those, definitely. But then I need I need stuff in here is why this is unhappy. And that can just be a Visual Studio thing. Yeah, Spirit, you're the first person who's asked me that. I've 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 said it a bunch of times and no because I know exactly what you're thinking. You're like, oh my god, if you have ten thousand people or hundred thousand people, this is never gonna fucking work. Um, and I'm glad that you asked. Glad somebody cares. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do. Uh, we're just going to put in some bullshit right here. All right. His name's going to be Fred Dickface because I'm an immature child. And then we're going to need, I wish I, this was a smaller, I wish I didn't have so many stuff in here. So many stuff, so much stuff in here. Then we're going to say true. Then we're going to say, I'm going to take a screenshot of this so I don't have to keep hovering over it. Oh, nice. Is it still, does it still, still exist? Uh, is male, his age can be 25. That's a good age. Uh, is faction leader? True. Sure. Is a hero? False. See, this guy is not a hero. Is a worker? False. Uh, leader of people perk? True. He's a leader of people. Sure. Uh, construction skill? 50. Current activity, none. Next activity, none. Is spawn false? All right, this is everything that should be in here. It can't convert to Godot variants. Just putting that there so that will go away. Uh, Post-apocalyptic is really, you know, we I, since I was, you know, like 15, we've been talking about what's get, what will happen when the zombie apocalypse comes or what will happen when this comes. Uh, zombie apocalypse, I'm kind of tired of that. What is that? That's not what I want. I don't know what that is. But I don't want that. First name, last name, true. Usually it's underline age, leader, these are all bulls. They don't really matter. <laughs> Construct, construction, activities, or strings. False. I think, isn't this the first one? And this is the second one? I don't know if that's what we were just looking at. I just want to be able to see inside of it. Yeah, this is what we were just looking at. It is kind of weird that it's so popular because we've never had like a, a war destroy or maybe that's why it seems like a fun thing. We've never had like a war, you know, burn down our whole country. Uh, Wow, look at this. So you can have just a bunch of garbage in here, a bunch of different garbage in here. <laughs> is that what this is saying? Uh, what did I put? 
Like, I know how to do a list, a normal C-sharp list, but I want it, like I said, I want to be able to see inside of it. Cannot convert. Dictionary. That's just some string conversion. This is pretty old. Uh, do I have the right collection? I don't have it up here, but I, I guess it shouldn't really matter. So I have the, it's getting a new one of these. I was just like. So that's the issue is like zombies are like the perfect uh, antagonists, you know? And that's why I think they're so popular in like video games and stuff. Is it they, like, just like you said, yeah, there's like, they're they're, they're perfect for all that stuff. Um, I was kind of stoked on the idea. I like vampires. I'm like a big vampire fan of that one video game that was tor terrible. That piece of shit that came out recently. I was like, oh, there's like a vampire one. Like that sounds like a, uh, uh, you know, vampires is the antagonist. That would be great. And then, you know, they fucked it up. Yeah, I don't know. I, I might have to just do a normal list and deal with it later because I don't know how to fix this. And there is no documentation that I can find. That is helping me. How do I create it? You know, we could ask chat GPT. It's a little, it's going to be a little old. Um, sometimes it's helpful. Sometimes it's not. In Godot.net. Uh, we'll put four point. Well, it's not going to know what that is. Uh, C sharp. I want to create a Godot dictionary with a public class in it. Hey, come back here. Yeah, it's lying. It's lying. <laughs> I want to use, uh, I, or it doesn't know. I want to use a Godot, dog, dog, it, Godot dictionary. That is that right? That seems wrong to me. Capital int. We already tried this, didn't we? Yeah, it doesn't like that. Sometimes I put in with Chat GPT, I put in like uh, Godot 4.1.net C sharp, not 
whatever it could be namespace related there is a namespace it's saying something about namespace player space okay we got i don't like that we got this here let's look at county population maybe i don't i just created that Could it be this serializable? I left that over from Unity. It's a good I good thing. Where the fuck are we here? We are in county data. Is it because it's in a resource, maybe? Um <laughs> Oh wait. Oh no, this went away. Why did this go away? And when this is busted. Nah. <laughs> okay, what what is the suggestion here? to suppress the the issues that's not going to be it all right i'm going i think i'm going to have to go back to a list here it's fine i was just trying to use check out you know, like i was trying to see inside the list we've we discussed this i'm talking to myself at this point i'm just repeating what i've said a thousand times I wonder if it is because it's in a resource. Let's copy it. <clears throat> we'll just stick it. We'll just stick it right here. Nope. So I wonder what you're doing in GD script, right? Well, we don't want it there. C sharp. Why doesn't it? Why doesn't it like me? So yeah, it wants it wants system. Well, we can do that one. So what is the problem? What what do we got going on here? County population. It's a public class. Wonder what it's using Godot for. Must the generic type must be a variant capable type. It keeps saying that it must be a variant capable type. Let's see what it says. Sometimes, you know, it does, it says. While custom classes can't be directly used as a dictionary value, you can work around this limitation by converting your custom instance to a, uh, a what? Um, let's look at yours. Public partial class. Yours is a isn't a public class though. It's a thing. <laughs> it's a control. Um, is that? Let's think. Let's think. Does that matter? That it's a public class. I don't think it. I'm trying to think. And there's there a reason why I would need it to be a public class. I don't think. It would need to be attached to a node somewhere then, right? It can't just float around. Let's put this in here and see what happens. Let's just say node. 
partial. Did you leave in the partial thing? Okay, now it fixed that. It fixed it. So it's. I think it's the partial. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> that I took out earlier. Not getting any errors there. Yeah, I took that out. Oh, it's back. Why is yours, let's look at yours is obviously simpler, but it shouldn't matter. Is it because I have this down here? We can test that. I mean, I feel like I have to have that, don't I? doesn't take 12 variables. At least we got a new bug. Well, there's the one right there. Uh, we can get rid of this. This was just some. Uh, what were we on here? Now we need that thing back. Uh, go back here. We need this back. That's why I was mad about that 12 thing. It could be, let's see. I was gonna get rid of that just just for the fuck of it, but I, I was just trying to use the Godot dictionary so that I could look inside the list when it's running instead of a normal list. Uh, that's the that's the only reason why I was trying to use a Godot dictionary was just to try to make it so that when I have I can look inside of it. It's not a hundred percent required, but it makes life easier later. And if I can't do it, it's not the end of the world, but I figured, you know, might as well try one of these out while I'm here, while I'm at this stage. But it doesn't look like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. You know, I, no, yours is the same. I was going to say, no, yours is, di oh, wait, you know, yours is, no, yours is different. It has the, it, the only different, but you said you got rid of your control on there. Um, <clears throat> Uh, so many, many different things are going to be calling it. It's it's a regular thing that's going to be hitting up to look at it. So it will work. So it will work as a. It just, yeah. UI um, uh, UI elements definitely. If we go back to here, the dreaded Unity um, UI elements will be getting to it. Anything that like it. So it's if you click on this and you click on this population, it will be pulling it right here. Um, it will be other scripts will be accessing it to see how much work they've done in a day. Um, like that will just run in the background every day, you know, at 5 p.m. It will say how much work have you completed or whatnot.
but did you also need did you also need this to have like node in here because it works with node in here where the fuck it went i guess you should probably save it but then it has to be attached to something right i mean that's not the end of the world uh it is so it's that's what we were talking about earlier is so originally i was gonna have a whole different listing thing but we, we actually just needed attached to each county is going to have uh its own population on there and then we'll get to it through by you know you either select the county or whatever it will go through the list of counties in the inspector like it will go through this list um It doesn't have to, it doesn't have to be an, uh, attached to anything. Is that some unity thought process that I'm having? I, in unity, I actually started doing less public classes and having more stuff attached. So let's put a test in here, a test. Uh, where's this thing? So this is attached up there. Let's put a test in select county. And everyone's going to have Fred Dick face in there. So that's actually going to, that will make it easy to, to test. G, whoops, GD prints. Um, <clears throat> county, whoops. Let's do it this way, actually. County data. County population. Uh, this is going to have to have a, a zero, though. First name. Let's do this. And then... Oops, forgot my squigs. Oh, I don't have, I thought I put one of those on there and I was like, what is it talking about? Well, it should only happen every time we click, click on the the thing <clears throat> the key was not present in the dictionary zero Oh, this has never ran. <laughs> we might need that. Um, can I do this? Oh, wait. Private override. No, private override void ready thing. No, I did it wrong. Oh, it's got to be, wow, ah, no, don't click that. It's got to be public. So this is inside of, let's move this out of here. This is inside of this county, the resource. I wasn't sure if you could even do that. And let's go to select county. And this, though, we can put it in here. Oh, except now we don't know the county population. That's why I put that in there. 
Uh, all right, so let's do, let's put this somewhere else. We just need it temporarily to work. Uh, select county is there. Actually, no, I was thinking we could do this a different way. <clears throat> Uh, we could actually, there we go. Yeah, I don't know, can you run stuff? All right, so that works. Can you run stuff in a resource? I've never tried and we probably will need to at some point. So now we need to be able to see if the, I can see inside this shit, though. I mean, that was the whole point of this whole exercise. Yeah, no, that's the that's like the the way that I learn stuff is. So we're gonna be need to need to be in remote here, is by just trying and and testing. Oh, we gotta look at member. We can't see inside the resource though, so that kind of defeats the whole purpose, doesn't it? Oh, you, oh. <laughs> okay. All right, just high zero. Or why it's null. I'm on remote. Uh, you know, I looks like I don't know which one I clicked on. Now I've clicked on all three of them, and they all have good old Fred Dickface, <laughs> our buddy. <laughs> um... I I got I gotta do stuff like this when I'm when I'm programming because it just makes me laugh, you know. Uh, all right, so county select county it, on running and are on ready. It runs this thing and it obviously is adding it. It's adding it to the county data, which is I dragged over here. Let's go back to local just to double check here, and it's dragged over. And it's obviously working because we can see what's inside there when we click down here. So what would, what? let's think about this. This array, or not array, this thing should be quite large. Like this should have a bazillion things in it. Whoa. <laughs> is that is that is that something that actually happened <laughs> oh uh what happens if i have a list in here all right what happens if we go back and i just make this a list i'm assuming it's not clickable right i'm on the wrong thing again <laughs> All that work if we go like this and we just make it an old school list oh it doesn't like this either huh oh it just needs a whoops it needs a there and we go the fuck out of here what's your problem Oh, it's because it's in a resource. Yeah, 
You can't put a list in a resource? Yeah, yeah, chill out for a second here. Chill out for a buddy, for, for a second, buddy. Uh, <clears throat> talking to, oh, why doesn't it like this? The type of exported field is, oh, it just doesn't want to export on here is what it doesn't want. So that's not gonna solve, yeah, so that's the, that's the thing I was trying to get around is that right there. But it's not, do you, I, no, I have an idea. Uh, this is, let's get rid of that thing. We'll just keep going back. We'll just go back. Go, keep going back. There we go. Uh, what happens if we go to county population we put the serializable thing back i know that this is like a unity thing but it doesn't it's just not telling me not to do it <laughs> whoops um, yeah <laughs> it went up for a second uh I want to see this. The type of exported field is not su supported. Did I leave some old code in there or did I, is it because of the serialized? It said it was under selected county. Oh, I never saved this. That's a problem. <clears throat> Fred Dickface still shows up. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't po laugh at the poor guy. No, but this still this doesn't do anything. Well, I think we're going to have to just move forward. We're, I mean, we'll leave it as a dictionary, but we just won't be able to see it and we'll, until we figure out I'll get rid of this serialized because it doesn't seem to do anything. Is that what's going on? I don't know. I don't I don't know how any of this shit works. <laughs> I don't know how anything works. My fucking heater is broken. I went down there and fucked with it. It's, so the, the guy was saying that the reason that there's a compressor on the side, he said the reason I've been having so many issues is, is that the compressor isn't perfectly level. And so he showed me that it had to be perfectly level. And then he left and like 10 minutes later, you know, because the thing vibrates when it's in use, it wasn't perfectly level. So I fixed the level and that worked for another day. And then I just went in there and it wanted to be like tilted like this for it to run. So there's something else going on in there that's busted. And that's a new one. They replaced the old one because they just said, at first they just said, oh yeah, it's broken. We'll just fix it. I've had never any issues with this somewhat new HVAC. So let's leave it. Well, let's Google it one more time. Godot dictionary not showing in inspector. What does this person say? Custom resources. I thought the reason why I was switching to this was so that I could see stuff.
If this ain't, uh, we can work around with a few lines of script. I, th I think just about everyone would be very pleased with it. However, in the meantime, it's not to, to avoid this issue. Oh, uh, is this what they were talking about in that other help thing where they were like, just put this thing in your code? This is all, this is not. Oh, it is from 2019. That should be the first thing I check because that's, that's. Let's make sure we only get the. We can do it without seeing it. We can do it without seeing it. It's like I said, it's just easier later to bug test stuff when we're like, why isn't this working? And you can look inside and be like, oh, it's just bad RNG or something, you know? Cause there are gonna be like tests where they have skills and things. What's faster? Godot dictionary or C sharp list? There we go. What? And we'll do whatever is faster. Since we can't look at it. That was like a long. Um, oh, this is also three years ago. It's all it's all three years ago. You know what I really hate? is when you Google something and there is no date on it. Here's an example. I think that these should be immediately sorted out of Google. Just get the fuck out of here. Uh, see, this isn't that old either. Dictionary or lists, but this is just talking about C sharp dictionary list. <clears throat> oh, I well, I I can ask it, but I don't think it's that seems like that that's uh, where the fuck did it go? Um, that seems like that's gonna confuse it. Godot. Uh, C sharp dot net. Which is faster, a Godot? I don't know. I it, you can just typo ever anything, and then we'll figure it out. A Godot dictionary or a C sharp list? Because we are going to be doing a lot of stuff. Oh shit! You know what we also have is there's a thing in this list that I. Uh, someone help me with chat, actually. Fast key look, look up. They have zero, one, or very fast. Lists are suitable for situation. The order of the element matters. The order does matter. Without the need for key-based access, I mean, we're going to be accessing it by its index. I wonder, was it in county? I think it... I would have just copied it over. No, it's not in county population. It's another one. There must be another list. There's another list where we're, we're doing crazy shit. We're basically we're firing an event every time that list changes. And that list is going to be a pain to move over and we want that one to still act that way um i'm gonna take a quick break though and then uh, i'll make a decision on the way i want to do this i'm tempted to do it the godot way just so i have an example that's working of how to do it this way you know what I mean? And then if later, let's say there's an issue and it's too slow or something. We're not going to know for 100 years, but it's too slow. We can switch it over. I like to have examples of things I'd, 
I don't know how to use in my code for later, <laughs> which sounds weird. But all right, I'm going to take a quick break. And I will be uh, back in less than five minutes. My music confused me because I'd never heard it before. Um, let me throw up. Yeah, so that's, I want to have, I want to kind of like decouple, what's it called, the observer strategy? The observer strategy, I think, is what I'm, so they're observing more and firing events more than instead of having these lists that are having all this code that's required to be touching each other. Because a lot of it, yeah, exactly. Because a lot of it's going to be, it will be too convoluted if I have all of these things running all these different things, you know, like it'd be way easier just to have one event and then they all just look in and change when they need to. I, I think that's so someone, someone else in chat, you know, a while ago said, Hey, you should check out these different strategies. There's the observer pattern. That's what it's called. Observer pattern, the strategy pattern. Those are the two. And so I looked into those and Whatever, I thought I maybe I learned something. Anyways, I'll be back in uh, less than five minutes. I was gonna continue to pause that there. All right, be right back. Okay, I am ready to move forward. We're, we're going to do the Gondo list for now. Um, or the Gondo dictionary, which is what we got there. So now we can actually do something that we have to, we have to do before we get anywhere. Uh, we're going to go create a new folder called lists. And then... We're going to drag over 
this list of names that I have, which is, oh, did I turn off my break timer? I did not. And I still didn't, and I still haven't. There we go. Where did I stash this thing? Streaming assets. There we go. And actually, I want to be here. And now we should have a bunch of lists of names. <clears throat> there we go. Then we're going to need to load them up from disk into an array. I, I'm trying to think if we are ever going to use this again. I guess if they have kids, we'll, I mean, eventually they will have kids, but so we'll put it in, we'll put it in here and I'm going to copy this code over that I wrote in my hex demon game where I already did this sort of, I want to fix it though. The hex demon version is not fixed. Um, where was that? I think that is actually in globals as well here. Load corp corpses, load goblin names. Here we go. This will do the trick, sort of. Oh, look, I typed that in there instead of, huh. I don't do it that way normally. Uh, we're not, it's not going to be a goblin's name either. It's going to be load names. And then we're going to need some more out of here as well. We're going to need, I guess they're just, they're just arrays. Whoops. We don't want to take it out of there. <laughs> That'd be a bummer. Um, they are just arrays. And this is going to be, we're going to need three of these, actually. Male first names, uh, public string, female first names, with an S. And then we're going to do last names. And then, uh, for some reason, I was clearing these out every time we ran it. I don't remember why, but... We'll put it in there, sure. Why not, right? Maybe we'll need to load them again at some pers uh, some point, uh, and then there we go. This is bad because yeah. So this is bad. <laughs> um, so what we can do is we can copy over that other thing that I had. Uh, that was under demon spawn, I believe. We'll copy this over. And we'll put it up here. And then we'll copy over. Uh. Oh no, this isn't what we want. This isn't what we want at all. It's close. We want the demon picker. We want this thing again. Didn't I already copy this over and adjust it? I feel like I did this yesterday. Where would I have done that though? We want this thing. So I guess I'm not really, really. Oh no, we want, oh, this was the issue is I couldn't get all the, well, we'll figure it out. Hopefully it won't be that hard. Uh, we need, this is gonna be just straight up lists. Uh, probably wanna slash at the end there. Uh, lists path then we'll go and we'll rename these all all right shut up it's a list paths 
lists lists path. Okay. So it's going to open this directory. It's going to it's going to get the file names, which is what we want. And then for each file name, it's going to go for the length. No. No, this is just getting the li So there's three files is what that's doing. And then we're going to have to go lists path. And this is not GD load, though, I don't think. This is going to be. We're going to call this. This is not a packed scene either. So we're going to have to figure out this file. It's, it's like file access or something. File access dot read. No, it's got that fucking mode thing. That's what it, I have that somewhere. You got to like mode flags read or something. I've done it before. I swear to God. Godot, we'll leave this open actually. Godot file access read something. It is this. So I copied over all of that stuff and it was kind of pointless because we're getting rid of it all. Oh, we know what we can't do it this way with this by getting the file names. That's something else. We're going to have to do it per file because they got to go with their specific shit. So we don't need this directory thing. I mean, I guess it's nice to make sure the directory exists. We don't need that. We need to manually, we don't need this for loop either. We need to manually like say like the male first names go to whatever. Um, equals no, we need this to equal file access dot. I have it on my clipboard. We need to do this first, except I think I'm, I'm winging it here. We're going to have We're going to have a couple of things. We're going to have path, uh, list path, plus path equals. The reason I'm going to put it up here is because I want it if I change something, I want an easy way for me to find it. I don't know if I need that at the end. Let's do it just with this one. Then we're going to read it, but then we need to have read the every line as its own thing. And this is where I was having issues. And this is back to that, that thing where I was saying, get as text. No, uh, where I was saying like it's easier to do in C sharp, but then you would have to copy over the lists. Get file as as a string.
get line <clears throat> returns the next line of the file as a string. Store the given that's storing as a CSV. This so these are these are not CSV. It's just a every line is a different name. This is all storing stuff. We don't need that. It doesn't look like I can get all of the lines. The whole file is text. Uh, I need to read it, read every line from the file as a, and then put it into an array so that every line is its own entry into the array. And I think we can do it with, returns the next line of the file as a string. Yeah, exactly. How does it know it's the next line? It must keep track of that somewhere. Uh, what was this example though? It wasn't. Where'd it go? Okay, so I think what we would do is, we're in the wrong thing here. We would go file, get line. We're gonna need a, I'm just gonna do get line. I just want one line first. We're gonna baby steps here. We'll just do, uh, we'll even make this easier for a second. We'll get rid of all this crap. All this crap is useless. I copied all this <laughs> this crap for, <laughs> for nothing. Um, you want another one of these? There we go. It, it is. All right, just making sure I have my namespace up here. And then we'll uh, GD prints. Mail, wrong type of mail, first name. Yeah, I got it. I got to do the baby steps when I'm doing something newish. I did, I was, you know, I've gotten the resources down, well, not down, loading resources from disk. Um, we need this. <laughs> um, 
predictor reference is not on 42. 42. Uh, wrong, wrong script. 42. Uh, else no director directory directory doesn't exist there we go we could put some rainbows in there just for uh to know how that it's because we're going to be devastated if that happens right wait is it rainbows or rainbow well it didn't it didn't give us that error anyway anyways uh load names 42. Store string. Okay, so that's for writing. Then to load, we have that <clears throat> mode flags ring read. All right, I have that. Get as text, return content. I still feel like my path is off or something. And it could be, we could just, let's just, let's even baby step it more. Let's get, just get the path right here. Oh, you know, I didn't put dot text at the end. That's the reason. Let's do this though. We need some, some thing here. That's not going to apply. Whoops. Now we got two of these. Uh, there we go. Whoops. Don't, don't do that. First name is James. That seems highly unlikely. Is it not in alphabetical order? Oh, it isn't in alphabetical order. It's just in some... <laughs> I think I googled like the top 100 male names in the United... No, I said in North America, but it turns out that that was surprisingly difficult to find like a list of, of just North America. Um, all right, so we fixed that problem and we're getting the line. And it doesn't like it doesn't like dunce. Oh, it said that I allowed I allowed dunce now. Did was it doing that before? <clears throat> All right, let's go back to my <clears throat> path thing here though
Because I think that that was the issue was I was just I was missing the dot text. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember doing that before. Okay, so that works. Now we got to go to the next thing. For if no for it's not going to know that the length. Um. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. Let's do it. Add it to the. Cannot. I was having this issue the other day, too, and I was just like. I don't know why I suddenly don't know how to use arrays. I for a while I was using them all the time. Um. I was going to try to do that, but then I was trying to figure out how, so I'd have to do like, if, so I'd have to do while something, I hate while statements, they always implode. Uh, so I guess I'd have to do while this doesn't equal that, equal, um, oh, is there, is there a, a function in there for the already built in? So why does my array suck? My assigning to array suck. Scripts. All of a sudden it's like I forgot how to do it. I Like I said, I was using them for a while, like constantly. Mail names. Where did I where did I do this? Mail uh names. I guess I use this a bunch. It's just I just did equals. Wonder why What is your potential fix here? I give me much. So I guess on this, the way I was doing it on this one, it was just adding the whole thing in there. And I, I literally was struggling with this the other day. And it's weird, like I said, because I was... And I think I even asked chat GPT and it said I needed to tell it the length ahead of time. Yeah. Oh, except I knew which one I wanted to add it to. I don't know the length it's going to be, though. I could do a list, I suppose. It doesn't really matter. And then just add it in. Instead of an array.
what does a Godot array look like? <clears throat> So it's just like a list. Why was I using an array in the first place? I think I was using an array. That, that was I'm asking myself the the question. I think I was just using an array in the first place because it was available and I was getting all array happy for a while. I'm just gonna do a list. We don't need to see the list. Uh, we can just do a plain old list here. Public list come back here string um no equals new oh i gotta add in right no come back there we go and then we can just copy this our list is fine and like I like when I was talking about the excitement for stuff, I got all excited about arrays temporarily a while ago, and then I stopped <laughs> because uh, because I wanted to do all this stuff to the thing. Uh, let's do like I wanted to add and subtract and. You can't really do that with arrays. At least that's my understanding. Is they're they're supposed to not be messed with. You know, I want you. Yeah, exactly. And I was like trying to like do all sorts of, and you can do it, but <laughs> it sure doesn't like it. What is this? Never seen this before. What was that? Uh, we added this and then it says it doesn't exist, but the thing is it's, we don't need this stuff then, I don't think. Well, let's comment it out first, just in case. I also don't need the word first in those. Man, you gotta re relearn everything. <laughs> I think it was the null thing. I think I was killing my list with that null in there, but I don't know. I think that's a chat GPT thing. It really likes it, you know, null out stuff. I notice it does that a lot. They will say, make sure there's null at the beginning of your array, like with the grids and stuff. Because with the grids, I, you're, I'm making like multiple grids depending on how the the uh, procedural generation works. All right, so we have this, and so then you're saying if the thing exists, we open it, then while, so it knows the length then. Oh, we have to tell it to get the, um, while it, it the, we'd say get length, and then it's going to tell us the length, which makes sense. All right, so let's try this. While, I, I'm not a big, like I said, I'm not a big fan of while statements because I'm scared of them. <laughs> Get position, huh? Why position? While get pos. okay, all right, makes sense because file uh, get length the position's gonna be at whatever five or and the length will be a hundred. We need this little guy on here though. And then the 
then it should, if we put this in here, it should print out a big list of names, which is what we kind of want. I don't know why I'm like, I don't know if this is like something from 30 years ago when I was first taking programming and while I feel like it back then while was something you were not supposed to use. Well, we got we got a lot of Jameses. Oh, you're right. Um, negative one. Is that that little thing? That usually does a little. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. No. This, this thing. I have to look on my keyboard where it is. <laughs> I think it's this one. I can't remember. I I I started I was doing not build. I was doing something and it kept Visual Studio kept changing it to that so I looked it up. Yeah, that's what it is. I looked it up and it was like so I was putting in negative 1 and it was kept changing it to that. Whew, we've done it. James, John, these are like the boringest names. I think my name's in here somewhere. Josh is it Joshua I mean I don't go by Joshua but you know this is a just jam-packed with boring names so that now so that actually worked no problem this is in so what we're gonna do then and actually I'm gonna rename this it's now it's bothering me yeah I uh, I I I think we've discussed this haven't we our boring names <laughs> It's sad. You know, I'm not that upset about it. I didn't I don't know if I said this, but I I asked my mom. I was like, "Why did you name me Josh?" because it's um really common. And she said she'd never heard of anybody with that name when they named me that. So I wonder, can I use the same thing and not implode our lives here? So at the time, I guess it wasn't that. No, we can't. We okay. So we'll rename this to the male file, <laughs> and then we're gonna re have this the female file. I don't that, and we'll have this be female, which we don't have created. Did I do that? No. <laughs> I thought, okay. <clears throat> then we should just be able to copy this shit. And add a couple of letters here. And we'll do this. M Magonka. Now it's turning into its own word. Uh, you know what? I didn't check. Did I not put dot text on there again? I typed in the word text. I full. I did it again. <sighs> what have I done? Um, 52. 
making sure that that was right. All right, what did we do here? 52. Oh, we needed that though. And we don't, we don't have this set up. And we don't have this set up. We're gonna get to where we generate some silly, well, they're not silly names, some very generic American names here in a second. I don't know, you're in Canada, right? Um, it doesn't, when I double click, it doesn't do anything. It just sits there. Maybe I have to go to script or something. There we go, I have to go to script. <clears throat> I just assumed that it would do, you know, something. Yeah, I guess I had to go to script. All right. I have to go and, like, mess with my fucking heater after this. Yeah, probably Canadian and American names are very, pretty similar. Unless you're in, like, Quebec province or something. Um, all right. So now we have that. Then we're going to do the last names. This is kind of a pain. And we'll copy these. I guess I could have done the find and find and replace for just this method, but now we're we're mostly done. Last name file file, and then we're gonna. I think I need to um, also last name file name. Uh, no. last names <laughs> um, last oh I wonder if there is a way you know I probably could have done this without having these three separate things I probably could have because this is very error prone as we've seen here um What did I even call this thing? Last names. And we need one more thing here. Last name paths, last names. Last name file, last or uh, list path. Yes, list path plus last names. No. Last name file, last name file, last names and last. Yes, first name. These all say first name. I guess those are our first names. This is will be last name. Then we'll redo it. What's the export file do? Oh, you mean put export up at the top? All right, we're Griffin. This person, somebody's name is Griffin is their last name. Oh, you know, I know a person with Griffin. Wood. Cox, Cook, there, there I am. Haywire, what? <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, so we have this all going. We don't need this shit here anymore, though. So that in the inspector, you can just select a file instead of typing stuff. What in God's name are you talking about? Oh, you export and drag it and drop it in there. That's a good, you know, I could have done that. Um, that is a good point. Yeah. Oh, what is that? Is that different than just export? Mod. 
but I wouldn't put a yeah well I'm always down to learn new stuff I'm probably missing a using thing here using system It wants to add like some weird class though. <laughs> there's always some weird. Uh, maybe there's a space in here. No. <clears throat> of course there's no space. Uh, what happens if we type in file? Will it suggest something? File path. Oh, export, export, oh my god, I'm already over three hours, uh, Godot, Godot, <laughs> file, path. It doesn't like that either. All right, I'm just going to go back to string for now. I was thinking, like, that if that worked, I would be able to drag. It, it, you know, it is file access down here. Um, you can just drag and drop them in there, right? So we got this part. Yeah, I'm going to have to call it a day. We got a very... I'm going to have to re-update my, my title and everything. But I'm learning... I'm relearning about all the different lists and stuff in Godot. You would assume they'd be the same, but they're not. It's crazy. So what we'll do next time is we'll go through... We'll, we'll re really be at the point here of going through all these things and assigning these. And we... Oh, you know, there's a whole other thing. I'm going to put this on here, actually, on my list for... Uh, this should be the first thing. Add population label to county info control. So we're going to need a population label that will, at the beginning, it will just show that we're getting the right population in that, that county. And then what later we'll have that be a button as well uh, so that we can click the button and get a new window. Like in this, so originally, and I'm still thinking, I'm still thinking how I wanted want to do this. Let's maximize this. And so if you click here and you open this up and then you go to like population, it makes sense that this is over here. But if you close this, it looks dumb. <laughs> So I might change this buildings thing to be something up at the top. So it changes to be a new panel and then this would fill up this whole thing. This isn't enough room either. We need more, we're gonna need a lot more information jammed in here. I know this text is massive, but um, Yeah, it's weird that this this click is opening up that. I wonder what I did there. It doesn't matter. Don't think about it. All right. So that's it for me today. Thank you guys again for all the help. Um, <clears throat> once I get th so this game's going to have like a million lists and dictionaries and things. So I got like you know I could avoid trying to learn the new stuff right now, but I got to start like really might as well do it now and get through the pain. But anyways, thanks again for the help. I will talk to you guys uh, next time. I might stream tomorrow. I want to make some progress on this thing. I got to catch up to where I was in Unity, you know. Uh, and that's not, it's going to take forever at my current rate. Uh, but that's it for me. Thank you for joining me. I'll talk to you later. Bye.